How you doing, everybody? It's your guy, Wardy. And as you can see, we're back at it with some breaking news again to in Mets land presented by BetUS, America's number one sports book. As yes, former Washington National, former Minnesota Twin, former Atlanta Brave, former 2021 playoff MVP, Eddie Rosario has arrived with the Mets as their latest depth outfielder pickup. First Ben and Gamble, first DJ Stewart, First, Jackie Bradley Jr. Now we have here, yes, Eddie Rosario has entered that fold. In today's video, we're going to break down why did the Mets make this signing, picking up Rosario here from the Atlanta Braves? What can he provide the Mets, if anything, at the MLB level this season? Hopefully, fingers crossed, heading into postseason play. And ultimately, why did the Mets not only make this move, but what are you getting in Eddie Rosario at this point in his career? Everything in between, along with who reported this, that is what we're going to break down right now. But I want to see your initial reactions in the comments down below, as always everybody and stay tuned for our post game segment later today as i will expand further on the eddie rosario signing and all the latest updates of mets land hopefully after a victory against the oakland a's knock on wood right but all right guys let's talk about this let's break down eddie rosario but before i do smash a like and subscribe on if you have it right thank you all so much in advance and thank you also for hearing our great friends at bet us Bet US, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. All right, everybody. Again, let me see those reactions in the comments down below. It, it would be very, uh, it's very fitting that the Mets, just as I was about to get comfortable, you know, I was doing a bunch of things with uh, my girlfriend as we have a newborn son named Shea. For those that don't know, shout out S H E A, because of course, baby, we were getting him all set up for the evening, getting ready to watch this Mets game. And then, bam, breaking news right on my phone for my good buddy that I hope to talk to again soon because I haven't broke anything down with him on the channel in a minute. And that was my good friend Pat Ragazzo, who was on the beat there for the Mets. As you see here on Twitter report the following. The Mets have signed outfielder Eddie Rosario to a minor league deal. He is expected to report to AAA Syracuse on Wednesday. So as Stanley Marte continues to ramp up, is oh so close to returning the Mets. That is not stopping the Mets from making moves for veteran outfield pickups that can play the corner outfields or even get some reps at DH if they absolutely needed to. Eddie Rosario, first and foremost, is not a player that we should expect to impact the Mets right away. This is a guy that the Mets will call upon later on this season because of either inevitable injuries or because of, say, just roster configuration you think that there's actually a worthy shot to give Eddie Rosario down the stretch maybe heading into postseason play and the reason for this is is because yes Eddie Rosario the veteran outfielder has had a very underwhelming season the lefty bat splitting time with both the Nationals and returning to the Atlanta Braves where he spent the past number of years which he won the World Series with them had a huge impact in doing so coming over from Minnesota there that huge 2021 season with Atlanta not only with himself but guys like Jorge Soler Jock Pearson Adam Duvall all the outfielders were hit and bombed outside of Ronald Acuna Jr. and others here with Ronald out that year especially made more sense why they bolstered the way that they did. Fast forward a couple years later, Eddie Rosario, who has definitely had some struggles with his eyesight. He has gotten surgery in recent years, we have noticed. Similar to Tomas Nito, if you will. Also is a guy that has struggled mightily at the MLB level this season, not even batting 200. Can he even get to the Mendoza line? 10 home runs over 30 RBIs in 91 games, almost 10 stolen bags, but you know, a 44 WRC plus horrendous numbers. Eddie Rosario hasn't been a good defender in years you know I, I don't want to say he's Starling Marte bad but he's not great he really isn't and on the offensive end if we look back to 2023 where he had his most success was against right hand pitching where he had just a little under a 800 OPS against solid contact hitting again this is a roughly 260 270 career hitter obviously Eddie is no longer in his prime which is why the Mets picked him up on a minor league deal but the big question that I'm sure all you Mets fans have and are wondering is why did the Mets go out of their way to pick up Eddie Rosario here well one you can never have enough depth when you look at the Mets outfield configuration it's a lot right now it's Stoli Marte Harrison Bader that we also see Tyron Taylor Brandon Nimmo then you add in Jesse Winker can get some times in the corner even though he doesn't play defense all that well we'll give you time in right field for sure and play some Marte you also have the other pieces as well in DJ Stewart and now what we have here in Eddie Rosario Jackie Bradley Jr. who the Mets just signed a couple weeks ago I'm pretty sure I actually didn't name 
one more outfield option too, not named Jeff McNeil. Point is, the Mets have a boatload of outfield options, but again, the more, the merrier. He will start off there in AAA Syracuse along with Jackie Bradley Jr., another veteran outfielder. But what you're getting Eddie Rosario more than anything is the potential for him to be impact pinch hitting bat off the bench if you need him to down the stretch this season because Eddie has tremendous playoff numbers. And this is exactly why the Mets went out of their way to pick up the veteran outfielder. It's because, again, if they do decide that they do need Eddie Rosario at any point in time, especially with rosters expanding, you have to think of it that way. Right now, I would argue that there's no one on this roster that should be part of with offensively outside of Ben Gamble. But again, should injuries inevitably happen, you want to make sure that you have as MLB-ready options as possible in AAA. And while Eddie Rosario is far from an his prime right now he is still a better option than some other ones that you may have maybe even just maybe better than dj stewart while yes dj can get on base at a solid clip you know what you're getting between himself and eddie rosario you have to wonder if the mets still like eddie profiling more between the two really curious to see how this is going to go how much of a stint he's going to have with the mets because in his career 30 playoff games eddie rosario has a 296 average 29 hits five home runs 14 rbis 13 runs scored basically hitting for an rbi every other game at the playoff level again i'm not saying that he's going to come out and be a dynamic impact for the mets down the stretch in the postseason play all i'm saying is is that these were factors that went in hand with why you pick up a guy for literally nothing but with the potential upside for that to be something and at absolute worst eddie rosario gets no reps with the mets at the mlb level which may very well actually happen and then in that situation okay that's all it is similar to luke voigt when luke voigt barely played if any reps with the mets at the major league level and they picked him up over a year ago that we saw on the waiver wire i believe from the Brewers if I'm not mistaken so point is everybody you can never have enough depth that is what the Mets are doing here do not be surprised if they have some more waiver claims in the near future before the end of the month with some key teams potentially parting ways with some strong talent looking to be acquired for postseason type rosters and if the if there are certain teams out there that are really battling but find themselves on the outside looking in they may cut ties with guys again before it's too late before the end of the month of august where then teams can no longer pick up said players or the waiver claim area so mets fans that is all you need to know there on eddie rosario as best he's a dynamic bat for sure that can hit for all fields as well a solid eye at the plate strikes out a good ton we know that but eddie rosario can slap the ball over the place and hit for some power still at this point in his career but consistency is all but there with Eddie now and his age 33, 34 season or so. Let me double check here to make sure that I have it accurate exactly how old Eddie is. He's 32 actually. Okay. So the 32 year old left-handed veteran bat now added here to Queens. We'll see what he can provide for the Mets, if anything, at the major league level. But Mets fans, I want to know your initial reactions in the comments down below to this signing. How do you feel about the Mets acquiring the veteran outfielder and Eddie Rosario? And another big question that I have for each and every one of you is between Eddie Rosario, DJ Stewart, Ben Gamble, and all the other veteran J JBJ, all the veteran outfield pickups the Mets currently have that are stored in AAA, which guy do you think is the best option for them to call upon, not named Ben Gamble, should injuries happen and say they need to call upon someone that will not long or you know later on this year after Sterling Marte's already been back with the team. So again, DJ Stewart, Ben Gamble will throw him in there, even though I just said disregard him. And we see here Jackie Bradley Jr. And now, yes, Eddie Rosario. Among those four, which one do you think is the most feasible for a call up and why? Drop them in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the coming hours for people that are watching this right away for our post game segment. Hopefully, again, after a victory. Have a great one, folks. And as always, no matter what, let's go Mets, baby. Peace out.